In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Windows XP installation disk that has uh, uh, the Service Pack 3 slip streamed into it so that if you use it to uh, restore your computer, you won't have to go online and get loads of updates. It'll be, it'll be up to date when you install it. Um, okay, so the first step is to put in your Windows disk, because that's what you're going to use to make it, um, and get it open in Windows Explorer. There. Go to Tools, Folder Options, View Tab. Make sure that um, Show Hidden Files and Folders is checked, just to make sure that uh, you get every, every single file that's in there. And now you need to make a directory on the root of your hard disk. So go to your hard disk, a new right-click, a new folder, and call it WinXPCD. And that's where you're going to put it. Okay, so now I'm just going to, I'm going to select everything in my Windows disk and copy it into this directory. Let's so just highlight everything like that and drag it over. And that's going to take a while. That's going to take about 20 minutes or so. So I won't, I won't bore you with that. Okay, so now that's done. I've copied all the files from my Windows CD into this folder on my hard disk, WinXP CD. They're all in there. Okay, now here's the next step. I'm going to go back to the root of my hard disk and I'm going to create another folder called um, XPSP3. And that is for the Windows Service Pack 3, which you're going to download. Um, now, it's quite a big download. It's a So I've, I've done it already from the Microsoft site. The URL is in the it's in the magazine article and I've got it here on my desktop. Okay, so I'm going to put that inside this folder here, like that. And then I'm going to rename it to something easier. I'm just going to call it xpsp3.exe in there. So now it's time to um, do the slipstreaming, to put the Service Pack 3 inside inside your Windows installation files. So to do that, go to Run, open a command line with CMD, and then you need to enter these commands which are inside the magazine article. Just change, change to the directory that you just created. And now this, this special slip streaming command, like this. use this integrate switch and make sure you have that correct okay that took a few moments to complete but when it's done you should see this message here saying that that it completed successfully so just click OK on that. And now there's one more task that you need to do before you can burn the CD. Is you need to get a certain file um, which makes the, the disk bootable. So you need to use a program called um, ISO Buster. The URL is in the magazine. You can download this. And I've downloaded and, ins and installed it already. So here it is. And when it starts up, it just automatically looks for the disk in the drive. So there's your, there's your Windows disk. And you need to click here on bootable disk and find this file, this image file. Now, often or usually this is called Microsoft Corporation.img, but in this case it's called Dell.img. You just need to right click it and click extract. And you can save it to your hard disk. So I'm just going to save it to my desktop. And that's it done. The final thing to do before you get burning is you need to know the volume label of your of your disk. So just go to my computer. 
and find it in here. So that's the volume label there. I'm just going to use Notepad to note it down. I'm just going to write that in. So it's SP2 Pro RTM. And just keep that on my desktop. OK, so now it's time to burn the final disk. Um, so you need to take out your Windows disk and put a blank one in the drive. The software that I'm going to use is Nero for burning. So I'm just going to make a, a data one and choose Nero burning ROM. That's just because I've put the blank CD in. Just use this screen here to choose um, a CD-ROM, a bootable one. And now under this source of boot image data, you need to choose the image file that you made earlier, the one that you extracted using ISO Buster. So go to your desktop and find it there. Just use this drop-down list, and there it is, Dell. And you've got dell.img in there. This enable expert settings, this should be checked. And under kind of emulation, you need to change that to no emulation. And the number of loaded sectors should be four. Now go to the label tab. And here you should select manual. In this field here, this ISO 9660, you need to put in the the original label of your of your disk, which is the one you, that you saved into Notepad. So just press Control and C to copy it in. There it goes. And put put it in this one as well. And now to start adding files, click on New. Now all you need to do is find where you put your Windows XP in here. So this WinXP CD folder here. And all you need to do is just select everything. So I'm, I'm just holding Shift to select it all and just copy it all across. And that's the end of the process. To burn the CD, just click the Burn button. And then you've got a, an installation CD that has Windows Service Pack 3 in there so that when you, if you need to restore your, your computer, it's a much easier job.